So last week I used coprocessing to show how a print could take itself off of the build plate. This week, I've simplified those steps and reduced it from three steps down into one step. Here's what I can do. As you can see, instead of having all this complicated stuff with springs and rotating parts, we only really have to do one step, and that one step is to rotate the back of this piece up so that it interferes with the extruder head. This race car has been designed with spinning wheels and a rotating rear wing so that we can use co-processing to get the extruder head to push the car off of the build plate. In our CAD file, we have two wheel parts, the main body of the car, the rear wing pivot, this buffer piece in the back, and this hovering line that traverses the entire body. This car has been designed to be minimally adhered to the build plate so that when the extruder head hits it, it can roll off easily. We aren't really incorporating other things into this print job as is printing. The only co-processing step we're doing is changing the orientation of one of the elements of the print. Let's take a look at the printing process. Near the middle of the print, I rotate up the wing piece, as I mentioned earlier, to make it taller than the extruder head. The extruder head then goes back to printing the buffer piece and returns because in my CAD file I have that hovering line as shown earlier. So even without taking other materials and incorporating them into our print jobs as I've done in previous videos, we can still co-process our part just by changing and messing with the orientation of the part a little bit. This means that instead of just printing a part and then using it for whatever it's used for after it's been printed, we can print a part and come up with some really fun and clever ways to get things off of the build plate by themselves. By doing so, we're opening up the world to not just what we can produce with 3D printing, but what we can do with 3D printers as they're printing. Thank you and see you next week.